What's up, guys? This is Taylor Bennett. We're back with another podcast. This is my co-host, Joel Heggy. We have a very special guest today. My one and only great friend, J.D. Laswell. Everybody. Everybody, round of applause. <laughs> so for today's podcast, we are going to talk about uh, some random stuff. Uh, holidays just passed. Um, how was your guys' uh, Christmas? It was good, bro. It was a lot of family time. Yeah, my family time was good. There was no fight this time. Thanksgiving, though, I've... let's not talk about that. But it was good. <laughs> so, what age were you guys when you guys found out Santa was not real? Wait, what? what? When what? Santa's how, not how real. Twenty-two <laughs> year old doesn't think Santa's real. Um, so yeah, what 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 age were you guys? And we could we could talk about that, I guess. That's a hard one. I mean. I don't really remember the exact age I was. I just remember, I don't even think it was my parents telling me. I found out at school one day, came home, crying to mom. I heard that. (laughs) (laughs) And my mom gives me the whole spiel about Santa Claus is just, uh, isn't real, but it's like a figment of your imagination and like is (laughs) just the characteristic of giving and stuff like that yeah there you go yeah i think it was when i was younger my mom uh for christmas i got a little letter a little note that said sorry i lost all your gifts (laughs) i think that's when i found out that santa wasn't real because yeah it turns out though she had the gifts they were just in the other room she was trying to prank me yeah i don't like christmas because of that (laughs) no (laughs) but that's probably when i remember but yeah can't remember i was uh probably I don't know, I was probably in the second second or third grade. Uh, before that, my brother would come in, just wake me up and just say, let's go open up presents. And then I think uh, he, having an older sibling, he ended up just telling me that, you know, <laughs> so by the way, like, you know, Santa isn't real. Um, and I didn't believe him at first until he made me stay up. No he way. made me stay up and see my parents. No way. Wrapping the presents. And he was like, wait till tomorrow and, and then ask him about it. So when I had asked my parents, they were like, uh, yeah, so Santa isn't, Santa isn't yeah. real. It's us. But you know, it, it, he's like, it's the thought, they're like, it's the thought that counts. Did you guys, did your parents wrap your presents before? Christmas or like Christmas night, Christmas Eve? Uh, they did some. So they would wrap it probably like the 22nd or the 23rd yeah, and then okay. on Christmas Eve night. They would wait until we were all like dead ass asleep. asleep. Yeah. So I remember thinking like, um, why are my parents up? It's Christmas Eve. Like, what are they doing? Like, I can't leave my room. Yes. Like, what is this? But now that I got older, I think they just wrap them all prior. So. Yeah, my mom and dad would, like, put half the presents underneath the tree, like, two, <laughs> three days before. And then Christmas Eve, we'd have to go to bed at, like, six or seven. Early. Yeah, we got to go to sleep so Santa can come. And they'd be up to, like, two o'clock. Do you, you remember presents? <laughs> so so, so right. like, we'd wake up, and there's just an ocean of presents underneath the tree. And do you remember, like... The you can go online and search where Santa at. Yeah. And I remember being young, going, oh, you. he's here, and I'll be like, oh, get all excited, time for bed. And yeah, man, whoever created that website, you got me for sure. <laughs> like, you got <laughs> I me. Heard about it. I heard about it. <laughs> um, put a comment down below um, if you guys believe in Santa. There's probably not a lot of people who are going to be watching this, but if you do, um, let us know. And when and when? How old were you when you figured out he wasn't real? Um, I think it's a funny topic to talk about with your friends to see how how old they were when they figured out that he wasn't real. Um, let's let me check the camera. So this is our first time out in the living room, and we're using a iPhone right now on a thing. So that's why we are maybe you might not be able to hear us very well. Um, I don't know how good the mic is to your iPhone. I hope it's good. <laughs> I thought um, we were just sitting here going, ah, bah, bah, I'm wasting way too much money on the mic. So, <laughs> our next, next thing we're going to talk about is what uh, <clears throat> our special guest will bring to the channel. Um, he can tell you what he does and what he, what he will do with his channel. He's going to want to break out onto another channel. Um, we all Maybe. three go hunt, fish. Um, hike, explore Oregon, 
we would like to go do other stuff uh, with more time. It's just stupid rainy in Oregon right now. Um, but yeah, he can tell you more about his channel, and then we'll get we'll get the the show on the road. Yeah, thanks, Danny. Uh, yeah, pretty much. There's not a whole bunch about me. Uh, born and raised in Corvallis, Oregon. Uh, went to uh, high school in Corvallis. Went to Linfield College. Played football. Um, then I graduated there with a degree in business management. And now I'm in construction. Plan on starting my own construction business. So using that degree, great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been best friends with Tay since we were two years old. Um, we've lived together for a few years now. Um, not we don't live together now, but we have. We so practically wear diapers together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm just glad to be a part of the show. So thanks for having me, Ted. Yeah, of course. Um, he right now is working with a construction company. I think you said that. Um, he got a, actually a brand new Program. GoPro for Christmas that he's going to try. And we're going to figure out how to actually work it. And he's going to make a, a channel. I don't know what it would be called. Yeah. Sorry, with the channel, I mean, I, I don't know for sure where I want to go with it or if it's even going to become a thing. Uh, but... I honestly, I go fishing a lot with my dad and with these guys, and we just do a lot of fun stuff. And so now I got a GoPro and a phone with a pretty good camera, so I thought, why not just share our stupid ideas and yeah. <laughs> fun adventures with the world? I'd right. say a lot of people, probably YouTubers are in California, we'd like to try and tell people that Oregon is just as cool. Um, it's not, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, we'll, we'll try. Yeah. Uh, in the we very have less first, force. Fires. The weather <laughs> is less cool, but Oregon is pretty badass. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, we we'll have we'll have a lot of videos. We'll we'll be together building stuff. He'll uh, he'll definitely uh, give you guys advice on um, probably the basics in, in a little bit further of how to build. From I don't know what the basic things you would build. I mean, we build houses. We work uh, in industrial log yards and work on warehouses. So I mean, I've gotten a pretty wide, uh, uh, wide variety of knowledge. That if you guys have any questions, we'll be more than happy to sh shoot them our way. And if I have the answer, I can help you out. And if not, I can point you in the right direction to find out the right answer. I'll help him out real quick. The nail. You put the flat top down and then hit the pointy part. That goes yep. right down into the wood. Yep, and leave your fingers off the top of the nail because <laughs> <laughs> it'll be bad. Aim is important. Last night we were we went out to the shop and we were like, oh, let's see, you can hit a nail into the wood the, the fastest. Who can do the most consecutive? Uh, we had like four. It was like this tall. We we're just hammering wood after wood. It's like I'm gonna go throw it over the fence. He throws it over the fence and all here's a big bang. I don't know what he hit, but he hit something when he threw it over the fence. That's I don't know what I hit. I didn't hit anything. Um, it must have just hit, hit, been hitting the ground, you know? <laughs> loud. <laughs> loud. <laughs> so we'll, we'll bring you guys some crazy videos. Uh, later on, it'd be cool to invest in a camera or a, a, a mic to obviously bring you guys better content. Um, learn how to... Uh, make a video way better than it is on a iPhone and how maybe not cool this lighting is. But, hey, we gotta start uh, somewhere. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. Um, so that's what that's what he he will he will do. I know there's a lot of people who uh, who are probably curious on how to to bring certain um, bring certain stuff. He's moving a light in front of us. If that's no, better, no, that's maybe better. Maybe better. That's cool. Um, so, I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, I did find out some some stuff that's interesting that we can. Um, hey, we could go off of the holiday thing and see which one's our favorite, like holiday of all of them out there. Like we talked about bringing that up. All right, Tay, what uh, is your favorite yeah. holiday? Um, yeah, we can talk about holidays. Uh, out of all of holidays, you got what? You got uh, Christmas, so many. Thanksgiving, Halloween, Valentine's Easter, Day. Valentine's Day, Fourth of July, July St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Um, 
Martin. I mean, well, we could we do. We could get technically Martin Luther King. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Um, I would say Veterans my favorite. Day. My favorite is probably. Oh, yeah, so I'll give Veterans. you my. I'll give you my top three in no go. in no order. No order. Okay. Uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Fourth of July. And I'll tell Ooh, you guys why, okay. and I guess you guys could just do the same. I'm interested um, about Fourth of July. No. Christmas, Christmas oh, is because obviously uh, getting a lot of presents. It's always fun to <laughs> be with your family <laughs> and, and get new presents. things. Get new things. You um, said and, first. And, you and, said and family then, first. Yeah, right. Family first. Getting <laughs> Good presents. Good guy. Come on. <laughs> um, and then um, Thanksgiving because you can't go wrong with uh, with uh, some stuffing and mashed potatoes and, and just being with your family is always good. Um, which which I love. It's getting close to uh, the end of the year. Um, football's around Thanksgiving, NFL, college. Um, go Ducks and Denver Broncos. Those are my Boo teams. Ducks. Boo Ducks. Uh, and Fourth of July. Uh, Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. Come on. Go Beavs. No, go Ducks. We got to almost say it. <laughs> Um, Fourth of July, probably because uh, it's close to my birthday. My birthday is July twenty sixth. Um, and who doesn't like seeing things get blown up and shoot colorful shit? Yes. So uh, that's that's kind of where I'm at with, with the, the with the three holidays. I, I think those are well, those are pretty pretty hard to beat. So I guess you can go next. What are your top um, three in no order? Well, I think it's a hands down Christmas is up there. Thanksgiving. Um, and then I was interested with your 4th of July. I wasn't thinking about that one, but that's a good one. But I would probably have to say Halloween. Halloween. Ooh, Halloween's would good. Be in my top three. So thank, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Halloween. Um, obviously, Christmas and Thanksgiving, family time. That's I'm a big family guy, so I mean that's when you really get to spend most of the time with your family. You Throughout the year, yeah. Give gifts to your family. Um, and so that's a great, great time for me. And then I love Halloween because it's uh, right around my birthday. So that's great. And God, I love being able to just throw on some crazy costume. And it'd be socially acceptable to go in public with it. <laughs> and no one's going to bat an eye. What is your, what is your, cra- what is your guys' craziest costumes you've seen like in public? Like Scene one, or one, one where you're like, um, that's 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 a little that's like, like DIY where they like. I've weird, definitely but had like, a really weird outfit once. I was a, I was a devil, and I had two tails, <laughs> two tails, and one lit up. I'm not gonna explain any more, but it was probably <laughs> way more revealing than I was. I probably should have done, but <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> that. That Dude. explains so much about <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, um, do you. Have, do you have one? No, I mean, not really. I mean, I just, I'm more into just kind of going, going for like a your, funny costume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I saw collaborations. This, I saw like, a collab with someone. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. I remember we did, what was it? I think we did an X-Men in, in like high school. We had like, it was like freshman year, so it was like one of the last years we actually like tried to go trick or treating. Yeah. And we had like four or five buddies, and like we all went and like decided to be like different X Men. Yeah. And it was kind of cool. Like it, it was one of like the last times I really like tried real hard on yeah. a costume. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it was cool. I would say I saw when a couple years ago we had gone to a party here, and I had seen a guy with uh, it was definitely a DIY or Pinterest one. Um, where you where he had uh he cut out the bottom was a like a nightstand and he was a light and it was, it was no made way. for like a one night like one night stand <laughs> and his girl and the girl he was with i can't remember what she was she might have been like covers like blankets like right next to your bed or whatever yeah. um but that probably was the weirdest one That's but funny. we were we jumped off track what what is your so you said christmas halloween and then uh, thanksgiving yes so why thanksgiving Family. Family. That's you said both Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas family. Thanksgiving and Christmas were because of family. Alright. So, so, you guys might call me a Grinch. I'm not a huge fan of Christmas. I'm sorry. Personal reasons, but... So, I'd say my top three. Fourth of July is my number one by far because I like to blow things up. <laughs> and I like I like the loud bangs that those mortars set off. 
I love spending money. That's definitely by far Oregon the sucks most. Oregon with fireworks. Yeah, we, so we have to go to Washington to go get them. But I so definitely make that trip, and it's worth it because I love fireworks. Then I would say Easter because uh, when I was younger, you know, Easter egg hunts. Who doesn't like Easter egg hunts? That's true. That was That's awesome. True. But then also Easter our family is it sits down, and we have a huge dinner too. So it's like family time. You're not like worried about presents or anything. So it's absolutely great, you know, and it seems like my parents are always happy, everyone around us. And um, then I would say my third one is definitely Halloween. I didn't think of it, but we live in Corvallis and it, uh, Halloween here, if it's or like in the middle of the week. Halloween pretty well. Yeah, middle of the week is like you're partying the whole week or just the weekend. It's just like an excuse to not do anything go out and just have fun and uh, who doesn't like to dress up you know who doesn't like to pretend they're not themselves <laughs> rather than that that's about it christmas is good but doesn't make my top three sorry let guys. us know in the comments below what your favorite uh holiday is um i think we already said that but uh let's just reinform us um and and just tell us i think it'd be cool to figure out who who all agrees to like Christmas and Thanksgiving and, and Easter and Fourth of July? Um, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, anything else, boys? We should light off a firework. We, we should, should light off a firework. Um, <laughs> I found something on the internet that was interesting. Um, the Minis this Minnesota city has a bird poop problem. Um, it says about the crow patrol is on it. So they have a, they the have a patrol, patrol, the crow patrol, the crow patrol. So they have, they have people who are dressed as, uh, like garbage people who, you yeah. know, like in bright in bright, uh, green or yellow or neon, whatever suits. And they go around and clean off people's windows in like car windows. And they get paid and, to do this. Yeah. They get paid to it because how bad the city is, of, is having their bird, like the in bird Minnesota? Problem. in Minnesota. Oh my goodness. And so they're they're literally just paying people to go around and uh, and go there. Pass, I don't want to touch. I don't yeah, want to mess with birds. Yeah, I don't know if I would want to be. Oh, wait, how much are we making though? It says it says this will, it says they will rain down poop creating a slimy mess for the city and uh, residents as well as staff and patients. Now, Dude, hey, like, they get now benefits. I'm interested on like you need to look up the what wages are these people? Yeah, do they get like benefits like, and stuff? Is it full time job or is it part? Is it volunteer work? Get this. If you're get volunteering this. your time to scrap bird shit so, off a so, car. So these birds, crows you're, are about seventeen inches. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Whoever you're goes right. and cleans all that crap. So, you're so crows person. are about seventeen inches long. I don't fault you for it, but and they're they're they're. Uh, with a wingspan, averaging about seven wings long, with a wingspan of three feet. They're considered to be one of the most intelligent birds in the world, which Gross? doesn't make sense. Dude, I've seen a video on YouTube. It doesn't make sense. What, do you, what have you seen? I've seen a video on YouTube literally about a crow, and they put him in this big cage, and it's like uh, like escape the room cage. Yeah. But it's like for the for crow. The crow. <laughs> and this crow literally goes through and like picks up this ball and puts it in a cup so it drops down the rope and then like he's figuring yeah. out this stuff without I mean like, obviously we don't know if the guy had trained the bird to do it for five years prior yeah. to the video yeah. Yeah. but but like, pretty cool. being able to see that crow do it without like anyone helping it was crazy and like then I, then I actually like saw that in comments that they're like, "Ooh, the crow is the smartest bird." This so, man said he would eat crow. So, I want to know how many of you guys disagree and think that's disgusting. So I had seen this I video never. with uh, Mullet Man. Shout out to Mullet Man. He's uh, on YouTube. Probably won't ever see this, but shout out to you. Um, <laughs> he did a cash clean and cook to a, a crow, and uh, it, it, it it he said it tasted like it tastes like popcorn chicken. I ain't gonna find out. Sorry. So we so I live right I'll now in an area crow. where uh, there's there's a lot of birds. Um, I had previously killed a bird and it was delicious. It, and it was a game bird. Promise. There is no legal or illegal stuff happening. Um, we had ate it. Joel wasn't believing me that it was good. Um, and it tasted just skeptical. like popcorn chicken. Yeah, deep fried that. Oh my gosh! Like, um, I'll do it again. But People it was very like, like forty at a time. Be good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he walks in. He's like, "Nope, I'm out." <laughs> that's funny, but that's that's kind of where uh, 
the bird's eye. You never know. I can't imagine a crow because they eat a lot so, of He also lot, said, said a lot of shit. Said he also Minnesota. said he did, yeah. Minnesota's where all the birds are at right now. So I guess he's going to go shoot crow and go live yeah. off eating crow. He said he'd eat a raccoon too. Oh. Like what? Raccoons are you like... You'd probably eat skunk, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. I'd probably eat one. I, I'll eat squirrel and like stuff like that. Like yeah. small rodents, but I won't... Eat a raccoon you guys or a crow. That's garbage. Eat, eat a skunk. Hey, get, if we get to a thousand likes, no, you can't do a thousand can, right now. If we get to fifteen, no, if I'm we get saying to fifteen likes. Right no, now, no, 15, no, no. I'm saying this. We're not going to get a thousand future. because no. we have seven subscribers. Okay, that's, we're, I'm, we can we can go with fifteen to thirty likes for right now. No, I was going to say just because one. you never know in the future. Right? Like, if we do blow up, he. We stop. We have to go likes. hunt a skunk. You That's realize fine. that, right? How do you hunt a skunk? Who knows how? Who you can do that, do but that. I'm gonna you get sprayed. Skunk living in the underneath your house. No, right we now. we got we had a skunk, and our landlord, I'd say, uh, removed it. He went under and removed it. Oh, he did. Yeah, he he. We had holes. So this house that we're living in is built in the 1920s, 30s, and um. The the bottom of it isn't very I don't know what would you say the bottom level of- there's it, there's a lot of holes it's not finished uh, it, yeah. there was a lot of problems throughout Ooh, the whole you know crazy. 60 well, I mean, 70 years that is you can drywall. you could probably see the back it's probably drywall as you guys can see um, but they probably shouldn't have pointed that out right now we're gonna lose subscribers the whole what five we have <laughs> I'm just kidding so. Um, he didn't get sprayed or anything. Oh yeah, we ordered the studio. It's on its way. <laughs> we ordered the, yeah, we ordered the studio. It's on its oh, way. Yeah. So uh, I have another thing to talk about. Um, there are a lot of movies coming out, um, and it's brand new. It's the end of 2019. What's a movie that you have guys seen that you would recommend to our viewers that that you can you can kind of go on and talk about that that is kind of like your the best movie the of 2019. 2019. Oh. So uh, if you guys could, I can go first. I if yeah, you guys you want. Um, He's obviously thought about it. I'm a huge Jumanji guy. I'm a <laughs> huge The Rock and Kevin Hart. Fan. Ooh, Kevin Hart's great. I, I uh, love I love comedy. I'm a way more comedy guy than I am action to scary. Um, mainly because I was a huge baby growing up, not liking scary movies. Um, I'm 23 now and still sometimes don't like scary movies. Oh, scary movies are great. Um, so I would say the first. I think it, I think the first one came out in 2019. Um, I'm not sure though. Um, I'm Maybe taking a gander. Yeah, because I don't. I, didn't, I don't know which ones that I've seen this year exactly. So we there. We're both oh, looking I'm at some movies because we don't really know which ones uh, as of right now. Um, I will say there's a lot of them that are good that wouldn't compare to what I would go against. Um, I will say some scary movies I have seen in 2019 that weren't too bad. Like the It Chapter 2 wasn't too bad. Um, I guess the, the, the story of the clown is what everybody wants to hear and see. Nobody wants to be a six-year-old and see a clown, so that's good. I fell asleep um, during that movie. It? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah I fell asleep. I just like, fell asleep scary. during it. And then the second one, I think they tried too hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say I watched, actually, the new Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man with that was uh, good, yeah. uh, Samuel L. Jackson, and I can't remember this, the young uh, England guy. I can't remember his name. Yeah, so I would probably say that one out of the superhero movies. Um, I did see The Lion King. I thought it was all right because I, again, like... The actors and actresses who played the the voices. Not a lot of people liked it. Um, I mean, you just—it's hard to make a a classic that was animated into something that's all CGI. Yeah, no, agreed. Agreed. I mean, I thought they—they tried. They did. They did try very. A for effort, I feel like. But Um, another one that people might not actually agree with me is the new Men in Black. Um, It was. It was really good. I I thought at least it had um who are these two actress actors and actresses? Who who's this guy? He's really good looking. I can't I can't think of <laughs> But 
Um, you know who I'm talking about, John. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not um, who I'm talking that about. That one was good. It had the guy and the girl. It was a little interesting because the last man, uh, Men in Blacks were with Will Smith and uh, the old guy. So I always thought it was interesting oh, to bring a so girl in, not to be sexist or anything. Um, but we'll go over that one. I haven't seen any movies that I've really seen. Um, I would say the, the new good, Star Wars was good. I the new Star Wars yet. I haven't seen. You can you it can was good. You, yeah. What did oh, you, like, what did you like about? That? Don't don't give um, anything. I'm not up, gonna please. give any spoilers. Please. I love for Star Wars. Who might have seen it or anything? But I thought that it had twists that I don't think a lot of people would have saw coming. Um, nice. The plot was, I think, very well laid out. Um, and honestly, as a Star Wars fan, I mean, it's kind of hard to hate on Star Wars. Yeah, it is hard to hate on Star Wars. You know, I mean, and it's Disney. I mean, I know people, like, argue with the fact of, like, now that Disney's gonna ruin the Star Wars (laughs) thing, but at the same time, we love Disney and what they make, Yeah, we love Star Wars, so why not? do that and they I think they've done a pretty good job so All right. I would recommend watching Star Wars the new one um, the rise of Skywalker I think is what it's called yeah um, very good I went with my mother so do fun. you do you have I can't do you have any uh, I can't really think of any movies <coughs> specifically because I didn't go see you any just looked at a list. too much I couldn't find any that I I like actually watched I don't remember any of them oh well, I did there was a couple but they were so like Endgame like, was a good movie, what's a movie that Endgame. you like then Endgame was good Endgame, um Endgame I, Endgame the first the the fr- I watched the first Avengers I left the theater absolutely upset. And I said, I'm not going to watch the end game. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I watched the movie again. I'm like, wow, this is actually pretty good. I watched Endgame. Uh, it was in the theaters. Um, I was absolutely astonished. My buddy, I'm sorry, no spoilers, but I mean. Don't you, you, don't you, you spoil don't, you, don't spoil it. We don't All right. spoil don't you, you know spoil. what? My buddy told me something, and I thought he spoiled the whole movie for me. The, that thing that he spoiled that I thought was going to happen at the end happened within the first five minutes. And I was like, okay. This movie is already good, and the whole idea was interesting. I have to rewatch it to. There's so so in depth it gets. What but movie was it? The End Game. The End Game. It was yeah. good. It was I was gonna good. say Mandalorian beats any movie I've seen. Mandalorian is it's a good so series. Good. It is so good. It's good. If you haven't seen it, it's on Disney Plus. Um, I'm sure you can find it on any social media. Any social media. There we go. I'm sure you can find it on uh, YouTube. For in parts, I mean, I've actually watched a lot of episodes of stuff you can't find anywhere on YouTube. Yeah, you and have just, to. I mean, you have to like deal with the like five minute sections of watching <laughs> the episode, and then you get a nice advertisement. But it's just pretty much TV at that point. So, so. Uh, another ge- another movie. Uh, um, go ahead. What were you, were you gonna go? No, on? I was gonna say something about the main learning, but um, no, I forgot. <laughs> So another movie that I had thought was was pretty good, um, the other people I know don't because the reviews say, I know a lot of people look at reviews, but it's really your own opinion. We have buddies that follow reviews on games and movies and shows when really the games and movies and shows aren't that bad. So watch it before you judge it, I guess. But the Aladdin with uh, Will Smith. Mm. Hey, I thought I, I thought, haven't seen it yet. I that movie I was great. Seen it yet. You had you I, did. Yes, I, I, I love Will Smith. Smith. I thought I, it was good. I, I heard, heard there was, was really so good. much criticism. Oh, everyone it, hated it. it. Oh, I loved I heard, it. So Re- highly hated recommended. It. That's the one I was going to bring so up. So that's another really one good. I want to know. I like. Leave a comment down. Do you did you like the Aladdin the new one? And if not, why? Because that would be cool. Like, I I haven't seen it yet. I plan on watching it very soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see that one. That's so what I forgot about. you can't, you can't narrow, I'm just going through some movies. Um, you can't narrow anything down that, you you, know that what? you've seen that you remember. No, no, no. Other from, than, other than Endgame. Aladdin? No, no, no. Uh, oh. 2019. I pulled up a list, but there wasn't, I guess there was no movies that really shook me, I guess, this huh. last year. I like I'll, looked through a whole heard, list. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm done now. Yeah. Um, I heard that. This one movie on Netflix, it was the one with Adam Sandler and I think Jennifer Aniston or something like that. Movie? It's a movie. New one? On Netflix, new. And it like beat out some, and it's some, it's some uh, 
more cheaply made than a uh, high quality okay. like Marvel. Okay. Um, but uh, no, I mean it beat out some high, some high quality movie in awards, and so apparently that's a must watch. Apparently, so uh, look up look up the name of it. So we're going. We'll look up. Uh, I'm, ho the I'm hoping throughout this video, you guys can all hear us. I don't know if we're speaking too loud or too quiet. Other than uh, again, we're using an iPhone. Don't know how good. His phone is on his mic, so uh, we'll find out. Dude, they made a live action door. I heard about that. What? Yep. I'm low key I think interested. That's, I think that's a. Oh no. No? You don't think it'll be good at all? No. Murder mystery. So it's called Murder Mystery. mystery. It yeah, is it's on... all I gotta say. I wonder. I was thinking maybe they'll make it more for adults. Like, Swiper like kills the monkey or something. <laughs> that was a little far, but. <laughs> hey, there's so, some... it, so the movie's called Swiper Murder Mystery, does... JD? What? Murder Mystery? Murder Mystery is what it's called. So, if you guys so have seen it, uh, let us know. Just don't, I guess you don't have to let us know. I've heard um, it won awards. It, yeah, I've heard it's heard pretty it's good, too. Watch, so, um, give it a shot. So, I don't know if that's all we're going to talk about of 2019. If you don't have any other movies uh, of 2019 that you've seen that you can give out to us words, that you huh? like. Um, it's got a lot of TV like series. So, and then I guess this very first podcast, app, I guess video podcast is what we're gonna call it. Um, we will, I guess, talk to you about us and what we go through, and 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 then other stuff that we can talk about. Um, and right now after this one, because I don't know if anybody's gonna talk about anything else. Um, seems like I'm the host of my show. Um. <laughs> Uh, what now. what is what is your guys' uh, favorite moment or thing highlight of 2019 and what's uh, like something that's like ah shit that happened like personal or no, uh, anything anything like that happened in 2019 you could tell the viewers that it, you could say it, it would be it maybe be you and Madison you and your girlfriend uh, moved into an apartment or whatever or however it could be. Um, and then we can just go about that, just telling everybody, I guess, get, have, you know, get to know us and uh, know our lives and know how wonderful men we are. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll go first because I will always go first. Um, I love how ladies like always in, go first, guys. I love how I'm like in the crack of the couch and I have <laughs> yeah, not been able to find a comfortable this couch. Position. This couch is by far one of the most comfortable couches ever. Oh, it's so comfortable. You, you can but... lay in a desk spot either way, and within minutes, I swear you can be out napping. It's just hard to sit. It's like, hard to it, sit it, up. It, it in is the hard corner. to sit. Up. <laughs> um. So, back to what we were talking about. Um, I would say in 2019. Um. Well, I. Previously worked at Walmart till about June, uh, last June, and then quit that job and was struggling for about two months, um, and then got a job washing cars, which is awesome. Can't well, can't beat washing cars while going to school and saving up money to do try to do what you want. Um, and so I would say giving another be given another chance uh, was was kind of cool. Uh, Mainly because I was a little lazy on trying to find a job, and so that was probably my highlight of 2019, um, being able to, I guess, pay bills and still live in the house that I do. Um, another thing that was like kind of like crappy was obviously not having a job for two months, um, and I would say being a 23 year old and still having your ha having your mom help you with rent, which I know is okay. Um, if people think it's not okay, it's, it's okay. <laughs> your mom loves you. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, my car right now is is going is going out. Luckily, my girlfriend's dad is a mechanic, somewhat. Um, somewhat. So that's what I would have to say. Take Those are my highlights and highlights and lowlights of 2019. And uh, I guess you can you can go you can go next as our special guest. He might be more on here, a regular guest, or just another co-host. We'll see. Um, highlights and lowlights. Well, highlights, obviously, uh, moving in with my girlfriend. Uh, Don't tell me. Know. Tell them. Oh, <laughs> uh, highlights, definitely moving in with my girlfriend um, and getting a job and starting to work full-time and graduating. Uh, that was awesome. Um, 
lowlights was probably uh, losing both of my grand, like grand, grandfathers. Is my way to say it. Uh, these years, I lost my dad's, uh, my dad's dad in uh, March, and then I lost my mom's dad uh, just a couple months ago. But they're in a better place, doing much better yeah. than they were on Earth. So I'm. Uh, that they're doing better up and let us know in the comments below um because i've always wondered this sorry no, you you're good. You're good. I was done. um when somebody tells you that what is the best way to respond because there's obviously like you know i'm sorry for your loss but like i've always felt like i'm sorry for your loss is never good enough and you can't obviously like have your answer be good enough for that person yeah but you want them to feel more than like i'm sorry for your loss and then you guys talk about something else so i guess if you guys have any other um, ways you guys would tell somebody that they, you know, it's okay that they lost a loved one. Let us know. Uh, so yeah, go back. Sorry. Well, that was that was your that, low. That was my low. And his high was you said moving in with your girlfriend, girlfriend and graduating. And college. Graduation. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry. I'm slow. Um, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go off of what he said just a little bit. Um, losing your grandparent is very hard, and like, if you haven't experienced yet, it yet. Be lucky because make that time as much as you can like try to be with them you might think it's not great or anything but once you lose them it's a lot harder to cope with everything than you realize and huh, it's not easy. just know that you have people around you that care yeah. and you can always talk to anybody especially yeah. you know this channel um, even though it's under Taylor Bennett we'll figure out another name for it eventually <laughs> so. um, all right so I'm gonna go with my highlights so I got a cat um a little bit right before 2019 so now i've had him for a full year he's had he's he has an immune system that's like not very good but he's living his life good and I'll, i'm happy to be able to like grow live with him and um it's it's great and fourth of july the reason i love fourth of july it's his birthday too <laughs> um you'll see milo eventually we'll probably do try to do a podcast on my place uh he's a talker but love love the kid love the cat um he's my kid obviously um I would also say another highlight is uh, meeting new friends. I've, I've made so many new friends, and it's nice to be able to be in an atmosphere uh, like Corvallis to be able to meet some awesome well, awesome people. I've also met some really rude people, but you know what? Let's just forget about them. Um, <laughs> Not worth your time. Also, I got out of a super toxic relationship, and that was one of the best things I've done, so my year was great. Just focused on myself. My low light was probably... Just the beginning of 2019 after the you know the breakup and just not wanting to do anything and i was just super depressed i was in my room all the time didn't leave my bed but now i'm out doing things going fishing so it's like it's, it's better it's nice but 2019 ended way better than it started for sure well that's how we're good so we uh we're we're trying to i guess open up a book for you guys to follow us and like to uh I guess <coughs> let you know that this is going to be a cool channel that will give you uh, th fun things to, to listen to, uh, watch. Uh, we might be figuring out uh, how to make the cameras better and zoom in on certain people's faces that we've been watching on other YouTube channels that look more exciting when you watch it. We'll um, add effects. We'll add a, there you go, we'll add effects. <laughs> All the um, cool effects that you see on YouTube. It would just be we'll cool to, to overdo it. It'd just be cool to have One a channel that would bring you everything. <laughs> We're trying to bring you literally everything. Um, from fishing to, I guess, learning to know that there's things sew. in Japan or something like that. I know how to hey, sew. I can sew. Oh, I can sew too, so we can hey, teach you how to sew. you know how to put a button? <laughs> oh, the a perfect. button. I got you. Don't and we'll do it. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll sit down one time and see who does the best. <laughs> Just so, let's see it. So the next thing we're, I guess we're going to talk about, I don't know how long this is. I don't know. It's been 15 minutes or so. Dude, it's, it's been Easily. way, it's been a while. So we're going to cut half of this thing off. <laughs> so we can check this right now. Oh, okay. Let's, okay. Well, <laughs> it's like, oh, so, okay. <laughs> Wait, it's at 40 minutes, which is not bad. I've seen podcasts longer than this. We're going to try to make them a little bit better. We're going to look at some of them that uh, aren't good. Um, ones that we kind of just like foofled on. Um, it's my new word, foofled. Um, oh, favorite word. So I want you guys to give this a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, 
Give us ideas and everything. Give us out. ideas Tell in the us comments what like. of what, what you guys would like to see on this channel. Um, when the when the weather is better or when it's not, we're going to try to figure out how to uh, yeah, go out in the rain, um, be more adventurous uh, with the boys, with our girlfriends. We'll bring our uh, girlfriends on. Um, more guests to uh, give you different opinions on um, what we talk about. Um, but we'll yeah, a bit of golfing and bowling with you guys. We'll, if you we'll, want. It'll be it'll be different. Fun it'll stuff. be uh, it'll be a good good time. So uh, thanks again, JD, for going on this channel. Yeah. Um, hey, and I was thinking uh, if you guys will have me, we can make this a regular thing. Yeah, well, yeah. So, we, we we will try uh, to. I know that some people are not might not even see, but uh, till the end, we might actually try and post and record a video every day. I've seen on YouTube, they say, don't do it, but fuck it, we're going to do it. Um, <laughs> Gotta bleep that out, bud. Some of them. Um, <laughs> and so, just just keep in mind that we're beginners, and we we think we're a good group of funny guys that we just want to bring great content to you guys, and, and enjoy your day. I said in one of my things that we'd like to bring at least clarity to you guys for 20, 30 minutes of every day, if it's not that then you know uh, don't click on our video <laughs> um so very please, straightforward please give us a like and a thumbs up and uh this is gonna be our first one we're gonna get better and better and better so please give us a support and uh i love you all and, and if you can create fake peace out. to help us out we're gonna thumbs go up. right now and Laters. we're gonna exit